unless you do a few things. Because, you know, this is a guy who's been so big that everybody around him has been small all of his life. Hard to convince a guy that he isn't invincible. Now, if Clay Bay moves in like that, he should go right to the body and then work his way to the head. But for some reason, once he gets in, Tom, he's not doing that. This is round number two, and the seconds are ticking away. I think uh, the crowd eagerly thought that uh, one of these two guys would knock the other one out. Uh, still may be a happening. They fully suspected that, I'm sure. The size of these two men and their ability to punch. Whitaker getting the shots in on Clay Bay. Oh, Clay Bay, too. Two or three little short chopping punches when he first got inside. He buries that left hand right in the midsection. Hey, don't get too close to me. Try to give yourself room. It's a punch, okay? Let me see it. Come up the middle of the other person, back to the left hook. Okay? You walk, he's walking in. You put that jab out there. But get your combination guard. Hey, okay? Go around. If you don't get busy, we're going to bag you. Get a pass. Okay. Okay. Better get with it, man. simple straightforward advice walk into this guy throw the left hand if he gets in close throw the uppercut knock him out Duva's convinced that he certainly has the ability to do it we've seen him knock out heavyweights before Lance Whitaker that is now they're gonna have to wipe him off a little bit Duva throws the towel in the referee and the ref says oh no you wipe him off I'm out here referee in the bout you're handling the corner you wipe him off yeah, so Lou Duva with a big grin wiped his heavyweight. Well, Lou Duva talks, Lance Whitaker listens, but Lou Duva talks, a lot of boxers listen. Bottom line is he says, don't get too close. Work that combination. Whitaker's going to try to set it up with a jab, get in, work the combination, then step out. Play base, seeking to land a home with that left. I think I'm uh, correct in assuming this is a very close fight. I don't know that how anybody has really got a big time edge in this one. I don't see so either. And uh, what I see is just a lot of cautious respect for each other. Clay Bay going southpaw. And Whitaker is going to have to get himself in gear. Why does he throw the uppercut? He did there. Good left by Clay Bay. Oh, yes. He's putting the pressure on. And he's inside just for Duba doesn't want Clay Bay to be. Clay Bay is doing what we talked about in round one, moving in close, staying on the inside, and working a combination to the body of Lance Whitaker. That can only serve him well. When you um, see referees in amateur boxing uh, make calls about the jumpy holding a guy inside, don't tie him up. It is a quantum leap from the amateur to the professional, so that is an acquired skill, being able to tie a man up inside. Bay with some nice footwork, eluding several would-be good night shots from Whitaker. Doing quite well and nailing the big nice, guy. Right, he's nice. him at the bell. Thunder. He's got Whitaker hurt. Whitaker says, I'm all right. But he's getting an eight count. He's getting that eight count for safety purposes to get himself together. But I'll tell you, Clay Blay hit him with a combination, in particular a strong right. Well, Whitaker's going to have to try to turn the fortunes of this around. Good work inside by Clay Bay, who is working those short, chopping punches, uppercuts. Steps back, throws the big-time right hand out of that southpaw stance, and so far has not allowed Whitaker punching room for that big, lethal right hand. He goes with the uppercut, Tom, and then he follows with that right. Now, we are deep into round three, but if this continued much further, I'm telling you, Clay Bay could topple that tree. Well, Clay Bay can't afford to take any chances and be cavalier or casual about this, because I know Whitaker can knock you out with one punch. We're moving down into the waning moments of this final round, and Whitaker is going to have to do something magical if he's going to pull this one out. A standing eight count, impressive showing by Clay Bay inside, who suddenly 
doing a little resting. Now comes back. Drives his man against the ropes. Misses a wild right. Working to the body. Nice uppercut. Good left hand. Another there we go. Down goes Williams. Uh, Whitaker. Lumbers to his feet. Gets another eight count. Not much time left in this Super Heavyweight Championship. They have stopped it. They have stopped it. Lou Dubas beside himself. And Lawrence Clave, very impressive. He is the reigning world champion, Tom. And he proved it tonight, didn't he? He, he sure did. He sure did. We talked about Thunder at the top of the show. He's got it. We talked about the tank at the top of the show. He is the tank. And the tower? Well, the tower went down. It's as simple as that. Very impressive performance by Clay Bay. Watch again as you see the man in red banging away inside to catch the head of Whitaker being jolted back and forth. And watch now. Nails him with a right. The end of a nice set of uh, punches. And Whitaker drops to the back of his lap. He lured Whitaker right into his game plan, set him up with the body blows, went with the left, and then nailed him with the right. A tough night for Lance Whitaker. So the winner of the Super Heavyweight Championship is the man on the left in the red, Lawrence Cabe, at 258 of the third round after knocking Whitaker, uh, Whitaker down twice. A couple of standing eight counts why the fight was stopped. Clay Bay, world champion, proves that he is uh, once again the national champion and a very impressive knockout win over Lance Whitaker.